What's going on YouTube? This is Deke back with another so rare video. So match week number three in the MLS. We're kind of getting some more info on teams, seeing how they're playing uh, and kind of finding some good matchups as far as home teams. Not a single away team won last week. That's kind of how it is in the MLS. It's usually not that extreme, but that's something to note. So play your home players in plus matchups because they're most likely going to be favored. Uh, only a couple teams are slight favorites this week as an away team, and there's some great spots for some home teams. So just to recap last week, so match week uh, number two, I did nine players. Uh, McCarthy and Nett did not have a good go of it. Uh, LAFC jumped out to a 3-0 lead, came back 3-2 uh, for Portland. 60.6. Uh, 73.7 from Montero, 64.6. Rosetto scored. Uh, Hiber scored. Yappy had a disallowed goal. He did not perform. Uh, Nagby, okay. Gutman, okay. Uh, so five out of nine 60 plus scores. I'll take that all day. And they're all very cheap players. So what I'm going to do is kind of slightly change things. This week, I don't really like any super value goalies. So what I'm going to do is just make this into a six-pack series. Six players that I think will uh, be a nice option this game week as far as matchup, price, and all things considered. So let's start off. We'll go with one defender, a bunch of midfielders, and then one forward to kind of sandwich us here. So Jack Mayer, uh, I own a super rare, and he had an unbelievable week. Nashville has not conceded yet. And they play Montreal, who has looked very poor uh, so far this season. I do see them having a good chance to hold that clean sheet. While the MLS clean sheets are a little bit more rare. But if you take a look at his scores, the big thing here was he outscored Walker Zimmerman for one. But 33.6 AA uh, is very, very good as far as just being in, into the play. He did have a, a 100, so he does have these upside games. They have to have a clean sheet. He has to be a part of it. Uh, but to start the season, uh, at home against New York City uh, FC, 18 AA, 33.6. Uh, both clean sheets. Looks pretty solid so far. And if you take a look at his price, he's only $7.25, uh, 0 0.0047 ETH. So I know prices are down a lot, but... Uh, very intriguing. I think you can just plug him in. He's 45 cost for cap, so that kind of, you know, that's pretty low. Uh, you can fit him in with some other guys, and he's not the worst option you could pick at defense this week, especially, again, home, Montreal, great matchup. Next up, we're going to go with a pair of Toronto FC players. So Toronto FC has not been good whatsoever. They are at home. And they are playing Columbus. So they've been on the road both starts. As we know in the MLS, road is very tough. Take a look at his scores, though. He scored 10 AA to go along with that, 70.5 at DC United. And then at Atlanta United last weekend, he had a monster 45.7 AA game. Now, his price has come up a little bit, but it has not come up. Uh, nearly what it ha it should have been. So we're looking at $11 on it. Uh, even the rare, you know, the rare is cheap as well. His cost is 45 uh, as far as the cap. So you can kind of pair him with uh, Mayer and you're at 90 through two players, which isn't the worst thing in the world. And if you take a look at his schedule coming up, they are going to play the home games. I do think they'll sort it out a little bit. Insigne uh, is out. As far as I know, I haven't heard an update on his status. If he comes into the lineup, they are a much better team. Uh, Bernadeschi on the other side kind of needs uh, Lorenzo in the lineup to succeed, it seems like. Uh, I I do think they'll be better off, and I do think home against Columbus. Columbus is a good team. Uh, I mean, they have two great players in their squad, Zlarian and uh, Cucho, but I think it's a good matchup. Home teams, I do think Toronto... At least it's going to get a result. I do think they win or draw here, which uh, could be surprising to some. But the big thing is home result, home result. At San Jose, it's cross country. That's a long flight. They'll probably lose that just because that, that travel's brutal. Home Charlotte at Nashville Tough. Home Atlanta. So they do have a nice uh, set of fixtures here. So I am going to touch on Michael Bradley as well. 
it kind of like pains me to talk about Michael Bradley, a 35 year old. It's not the sexiest pick in the world, but if you take a look at his price, he's $4. Uh, higher on the cost here. So if you're looking for a capped guy, he would not be that. But if you're looking for a cheap guy, $4. <laughs> he's coming off an assist in which he had 27.4 AA and an 87.4 outing. If you take a look at his graph, he has the 60 plus upside. He's going to play 90 minutes every single match. Uh, his dad's the coach. He's not going to take him off the field. Classic daddy boy. Uh, and even in this run of form, yeah, he had some bad results. But in this matchup, you look at his last four, probably going to get 50 plus from him. Uh, is he going to pop off? He has decisive ability. And he's a guy that at that cheap, I mean, look at the rare too, 0 0.03. If you're trying to play capped, he doesn't really fit in there. But if you're in like an America team and... It couldn't be the couldn't be the worst. Even like rare kickoff. If you don't have any rares, 0 .037 isn't that bad. You throw him with a nice limited lineup. That's not bad at all. If you're trying to get into rare, so uh, I do like Michael Bradley as far as his value. 35 years old, but he still plays 90 minutes. Uh, he could be one of the guys that plays 60 minutes. He's gonna play your 90. You know where you're getting. Next up, I really like this guy for New York City FC, Keaton Parks. So I want to. Let's go to, first off, he's only $6.44. I would like to just break this out into all and take a look at what he had before the major injury last season that he's kind of breaking back out of. So his last two matches, 22.4 A and 23.9 A, 57, 58. If he can start mixing decisives in there, New York City is another team that have been on the road so far. Tied Chicago Fire, lost to Nashville this week. They have Inter Miami, who's coming off a huge win against Philadelphia. And I would not be surprised if New York City shocks them and takes care of business. They are the favorite, so it's not a huge upset by any means. They're playing at Yankee Stadium. If you don't know anything about Yankee Stadium, it is a baseball field, and it's a much shorter dimensioned field. So there's a lot of passing. Uh, Keaton Parks plays really well at home. If we even take this a step further, let's play starts and home. You see here he has a nice floor. Yeah, a couple bad games, but even, you know, coming back from injury, he, he's looked good. Uh, this is the tail end of last season because they haven't played any home games yet. 46.5, 61, 91.7, 79.2. New York City will start scoring. I love their lineup. Uh, they're kind of putting everyone again together. They brought in James Sands from Rangers. Uh, they're just bolstering. Santi Rodriguez is back. At the start of the year, I was worried about the team uh, as a Talis Magno holder. I was worried about the team. I'm still worried for him. He's not a number nine. He's a left winger. Uh, he, would, he would be so much better on the left wing, but, you know, they don't have that guy. It'd be great for them to get him. But Keaton Parks is going to make things happen. I could see him having an assist uh, this weekend. And at the cost of 40, I'm thinking of picking up maybe a rare. I don't play limited that much. But earlier in the season, I really wanted a super rare to kind of add to my super rares. I just missed the window. But for that price, this is a guy that was one of the best players on the platform uh, a little over a summer ago. So it's crazy. And here is the secondary uh, reason between, between New York City FC. Look here. Home DC United, great matchup. At Houston, Houston has been pesky, but they're not very good. At New England, New England's look good. Home, home. So not only this week, I, I do think it's a better matchup than people think. Inter-Miami has looked amazing. They just blew up Philadelphia, yes. But then you buy into this. So DC United, I think they're going to smoke DC United. I don't think DC United is that good. I think Rooney still is on the chopping block, even though they have a victory uh, out of the first against Toronto FC. And then at Houston, I like Keaton Parks. I really like him this week, and I think he's going to have a 60-plus performance this week. Next up, uh, Montero crushed it for us last week. I'm going to go with Jackson Ewell. Uh, San Jose, they are... He costs 49. They are home against Colorado. Colorado has looked awful. Yarbrough saved the game and possibly his job for another start uh, with the perfect 100 performance in the nil-nil draw. So they are home Colorado, away St. Louis, who has been very surprisingly good, home Toronto, cross-country uh, trip, 
home Houston. So this stretch here is just amazing. So I, I talked about a little bit in the last video with Montero. Montero's price almost doubled from uh, last week. He had a great week. He's had a great two weeks. I'm going to go with a cheap $3.22 at a chance at upside with Jackson Yule. So he's coming off a yellow, but he had 25 AA in the Vancouver uh, win, 60.6, 64.5, 60.6. But the thing about him, I'd rather have Montero. So if you're going to pay, pay for Montero. But if you're in a budget kind of, hey, I'm looking to get into limited, this is a cheap guy that you can get. He's not going to have that crazy like upside that Montero has, but he can put up a 60. Uh, I'll, these guys, I'm kind of, the idea of these videos is players that can hit that 60 mark. Anything 60 and over, wonderful from these uh, price points. $3.22, you could do a lot worse. Then the last one, we're going to go with the forward, a little bit more expensive than Jackson Yule, but he is only $5 for a forward. So my last videos, I had to look because the forwards that I think is a forward, then you look at their cards, they're not a forward. So uh, Miyazgoda is 100% a forward card. I made sure I looked <laughs> this time. His cost is 38, so it's cheap there. Here's my thinking. So St. Louis has been unbelievable, but are they that good? They're traveling away. I know they have an away win already. Traveling away, I think this is a get-right game for Portland, uh, who are coming off that LAFC game. So let's take a look at his graph. You're probably thinking, why would you ever do this? Great, great question. <laughs> I wonder the same myself. So if we're taking a look from here to here, nothing. No decisives, nothing. This is a decisive, dependent player. Let's take a look at his home, and let's take a look at his all. Okay, he does spike at times, and he's very goal dependent. He goes through stretches where he doesn't score, and if we bring in our away as well, you can see that he has scored a ton. Last season, he was a goal scoring kind of machine at times. Uh, he should be in the starting lineup if they, you know, don't sub him out. He hasn't played that much. 62 minutes, 72 minutes. So he's got to get that goal earlier. He's not going to put up like any AA. This is my forward call that is going to score. You see here, goal and assist, goal, goal and assist. He had a great run here. Uh, it was kind of like every other game he was scoring. And he goes through these stretches. If he can get hot, and Portland kind of looks out of sorts right now with uh, Jimmy Chara going down. Uh, Santi Moreno has not looked great, to say the least. Uh, Loria's on the other side. He just kind of... Hasn't looked great. Evander's kind of getting back into the game. I think Evander sets him up uh, for a great opportunity, and I think he scores. So I'm going to go with him to score a goal. If he's in the starting lineup, great. Uh, if you're looking for a cheaper guy, look at his .03 price compared to his floor price. I wouldn't play his floor for the rare, even though it is a forward if you're looking for a cheap uh, forward. But that $5 for this, that is a great value for a guy that's a 38 in your cost as well. So if you're trying to play maybe cap 240, uh, he is risky. He can kind of mess up your whole lineup, but he has the upside of scoring a goal. And I really think he does score a goal here. Could be wrong, but I'm going to bank on it. And hopefully we can get six for six, 60 plus. That would be crazy this week. Hopefully you guys like these videos. Uh, comment any guys that you think are cheap and have the upside as well. And we'll take a look at your list. And hopefully this time next week, we'll see this list. We maybe went five for six or six for six, even four for six would be great for this price point. But hopefully you guys like it. Uh, enjoy the MLS this weekend. We'll see you next week.